everyone. How is everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. Look what we have today. Our palpable pack. Not sponsored. I would love to be sponsored by them though. I love this box. I love it, love it, love it. I love it. Alright. Let's see what we have inside. Ooh, what do we have inside today? Some like monstery screen. Crinkles. Okay. We have paint, acrylic paint. Oh, fluid acrylic. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Creativity in a box. <gasps> we have little, some board canvases. One brush, a floater brush. Uh -huh. An angle brush. Oh, we have an 8 by 10 stretched canvas. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yes. Robert Simmons. I really love Robert Simmons, y'all. <gasps> y'all, look how little, tiny, tiny that bristles are. Woof. And then this is a five round. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, and what else? Oh, a spritzer. Spritzer bottle for water, I'm guessing, if you need it. All right, that's everything. And remember, y'all, I get the premier pack. So, this is the premier pack of the palatful packs. So we've got two brushes, we've got a shader by Prince Stone, <laughs> let go, it doesn't want to let go, y'all I might redo this right here. I just may. All right, let's take a look at our acrylics. What do we have here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I have never in my whole entire life Oh my gosh, y'all. You know what I have to do. I'm going to have to use these. Uh, I'm going to have to use these like in the bottle. I'm going to just have to do it. I don't know. Alright, so we have red, lemon yellow, cadmium red hue, ultramarine, phthalo green, and Mars black along with titanium white. Okay, I gotta think about what I wanna do with these guys. All right, let me get some water and I will be back. Okay, so I've gone to um, the palpable pack to see what is in it. Um, this is fluid acrylic, poured, puddled, dropped, and dragged used for layering and glazing and mixed with texture paste or other mediums and gels it can be mixed with textile printing medium airbrush medium and system three pouring medium for traditional fluid art techniques so that's what this stuff is all about there's no need to dilute it with water for immediate application uh, the acrylic offers great coverage, making it perfect for murals and other large things. Okay. Yes, and then we have a stretch canvas, this canvas panel, the angular brush, the detail brush, the round brush, spray bottle. It does a fine mist. All right, so make, here are the prompts. 
rules. Make a drawing painting based on your interpretation of the prompt. Post it, blah, blah, blah. All right, so the prompts are dream, bugs, jewelry, and lunch. Well, <laughs> all right, let me think about it for a minute. So before I did anything on the canvas, I wanted just to play with these. Uh, my thought was, can you use them kind of like stickles? <laughs> So you can, they are a little bit more fluid and eventually some of them did run into one another, uh, but they worked in that capacity. So once I dabbled, I was like, you know what? I think I know what I want to do. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross videos lately. So I'm like, you know what? These are fluid. What if I just took a bunch of of the white, put it on the canvas, put a bunch of water on it, right? So it's kind of like the magic white of Bob Ross, but have like a wet on wet technique at first. So that was my thinking. Then I put the blue and just mixed it all together on the canvas and kind of gradiated it down. Uh, put, as you see, some yellow to kind of make the horizon where it's going to turn into the green. And then I did put some phthalo green in there. Uh, and I just let it do its little magic work. Uh, I did, I think I spray it again with water. Maybe not. I don't quite remember off the top of my head. But then I'm like, okay, what if I do like, you know, just put dots and hopefully they'll turn into clouds, which kind of did not work the way that I thought it was going to. So then I just had to end up mixing that back in. Uh, but I thought it made a groovy little background. Now, these paints are very translucent, which was a little bit of a challenge to use. But, you know, working with watercolor, you kind of, I kind of was like, okay, yeah, I kind of get it. Do y'all see that little bit of red I put in there? It took over, right? So I had to put more white because now I want to do some clouds and have them not just be pure white but then it was still too pink so I ended up putting the white in with this and mixing it like that now I really do like this brush that uh, they gave us this Robert Simmons brush it's a pretty nice brush because uh, I can hold it in different ways and it gives different strokes I guess um, to make it like fluffy or whatever and I use it uh, spoilers I'm going to end up making flowers uh, and it works really good for that I do take the angle brush and kind of swish over it you know <laughs> to kind of make it more cloud like uh, and then I spray the paint spray it with water again and I kind of liked how the white kind of went off uh, to make it look like there's wisps of clouds underneath. And then I use the shader to, of course, shade. Like what you're supposed to use it with. So, uh, to just set the clouds into the sky. Again, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross. So, I'm like, I think I want to try these uh, to make like little trees with this brush. Well, first, I'm like, let me do some grass. And it just wasn't working, again, because this paint is very translucent um it's really 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 translucent for it to sit there and say that you can layer it uh, I'm not sh too I'm not too sure about that but the thalo green especially was very translucent here I'm just trying to make like grass strokes and stuff and just it was not working the way that I wanted it to um so I was just like, okay, let's just, we'll figure out the grass area later on. So now I'm moving on to the trees and I'm using the angle brush and I'm using it where the shorter end of the brush is up and to make these trees. And I thought that was so cool. I really liked making trees with this brush. It was amazing uh, to do. So... I think I'm going to use it in my arsenal from now on to make trees because they were so easy to make. Like, especially if you're using oils, something more heavy bodied. Oh my gosh, see? See how easy that is? And I'm just holding it. Like I said, the, the smaller part of the bristles are up in the air or up at top. 
And it just, oh, so easy. Dudes, that was so easy. Uh, now I'm going to make tufts of grass. And again, it's so translucent. It was so hard for me to get the ratio right. But finally I do by adding uh, yellow. And the yellow wasn't even working. I was like, oh my gosh. But I was like, okay, let me try white. So I just put more white in it uh, to make it more of a lighter color to make these tufts of grass uh, and to make the uh, stems of the flowers here but it's so hard to see again it's just very translucent uh, but again I loved using this brush to make the flowers because in whatever way that I'm holding the brush I can make it look like it has different petals it was just this was just so much fun to just sit here and play. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and then I mix up the perfect green. I'm like, man, why didn't I do this earlier for the stems? I'm like, well, I'll just make the leaves. That way, the, at least the leaves will be seen, you know, because it's so hard to see the stems of these flowers. But it ends up being okay because really the focus is seeing the, the flowers that are made. Uh, so, like, there I'm... I have the point of the brush like up at the top and it makes like these like little I don't know how, what you would call them like I don't know these are just you know flowers they're not any particular kind wildflowers there you go they're wildflowers uh, but yeah just by the different way that you held the brush it just made the petals look different so I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of, a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and I will end up just using the bottle too here in a minute and just putting little dots um, in the middle of the flowers. So I like this paint. It just, you just have to work with it for a while to really understand the nature of the beast. Again, because it's very translucent. Um, it's not quite like regular acrylic paint and it's definitely not like oil paint um, and it's different than watercolor um, but it was fun to work with uh, this box was totally fun I didn't go by a prompt like I said I've been watching Bob Ross and I kind of wanted to do a Bob Ross thing so that is where my mind went I couldn't get that out of my head so I had to do it but it was fun I like it I think it's turned out cute. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, that will help my channel to grow. And I would appreciate it so, so much. I am wanting to grow my channel by um, a thousand for the year. So let's see if we can do that. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. And um, share it if you'd like as well. I'd appreciate that as too. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for watching. And I will talk to you later. Bye.